NFT. Never forget to pass it. Quickest way to get your motherfucking ass. So, did you know that between November the 22nd and the 28th, the sandbox attracted a whopping 86.56 million in NFT land sales? Yes, you heard that number right, by the way. And if you want in on the action for a piece of the chunky profits, well, first you need to pay attention to this video. So for many, the sandbox is a sure way to make profits, just like investing in, let's say, a real world house or any other asset for that matter. But why is that? Well, there always seems to be some new ways to make money with the sandbox, and this happens every single day. And let me walk you through just some of the ways in which you can profit from this project. Number one is hosting various virtual events. Now, number two is creating your own games for monetization. And number three is contributing work to an experience that pays out over time. And this is especially true for the gaming industry, as they can create, well, virtual events or gifts that are also virtual items, right? Now, number four is advertisements. And these advertisements are on said virtual lands. And you might get other residual incomes from, say, royalties and things like that. Now, number five is selling and renting virtual lands, which is pretty self-explanatory. So number six is creating and selling NFTs. And lastly, number seven is accumulating the sand token and actually selling it at a profit later down the line. Now, with this in mind, in today's episode, we're gonna go in depth into the idea behind the sandbox, its NFT marketplace, its gaming ecosystem, and also its token, as well as, well, the subsequent tokenomics. We'll round up by touching on the project's roadmap for 2022. But before we continue, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more videos on sand and other NFT projects. So, first things first. What's the idea behind The Sandbox? Well, The Sandbox is a user-generated gaming platform that allows users to, well, build a virtual world and monetize in-game items, including, say, digital plots of land that they purchase or wearables that they can make for their avatars. Now, the items can actually be traded on The Sandbox's marketplace as non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, which are essentially digital assets that use the Ethereum blockchain to verify ownership. Now, the main idea behind the sandbox is to disrupt existing game makers like Minecraft and Roblox by providing creators with actual ownership of their creations as, well, you guessed it, NFTs. And moreover, it actually rewards the users for their participation in the ecosystem with real profit. But that said, why has the sandbox become so successful, reaching to the point of meeting the budget to hire celebrities such as Snoop Dogg? NFT. Never forget to pass it. Well, for one, upon the Animoca brand's acquisition back in August of 2018, the product started using a voxel-style blockchain version of a game. In turn, this allowed people to monetize their in-game creations, an incentive that was more than enough to bring more users on board. And in case you don't know, a voxel is essentially a 3D piece of art. It's a combination of the words volume and pixel. Now, the sandbox allows voxel artists to create assets using the sandbox's voxel art program, VoxEdit. These assets can then be sold on the Sandbox's marketplace for sand. Now let's get on with why the Sandbox has become so successful. Besides the points aforementioned, over 165 brands and celebrities have joined the Sandbox ecosystem to offer metaverse experiences to their users. These include the Smurfs, Atari, Snoop Dogg, The Walking Dead, and Adidas. Another reason why the Sandbox has been increasingly popular is pegged onto the fact that, well, Facebook has recently been rebranded as Meta. And this move has seen investors seek ways to profit from the exciting metaverse concept, fueling interest in the Sandbox and other metaverse projects. Now let's talk about the Sandbox's marketplace overview. So launched in April of 2021, the Sandbox's marketplace is an NFT marketplace for users to trade in-game assets. And they do this with SAND, the native cryptocurrency of the Sandbox. The assets acquired can then be incorporated into land using the game maker to create unique games. These NFTs can be entities, buildings, wearables, and more, all of which can be used within the Sandbox itself. Moreover, the Sandbox's NFT marketplace allows users to upload, publish, and sell their NFT creations that are all made in VoxEdit. In case you don't know, VoxEdit is a voxel editing tool that is developed by the Sandbox. Now, the purpose of this tool is to enable artists and creators to make voxel assets that can actually be used in games in the Sandbox's metaverse, equipped by player avatars, and then sold in the Sandbox's marketplace. Now let's talk about real estate on the sandbox. Now, in total, you'll find 166,464 equally sized plots. You can, of course, buy several plots and then merge them into an estate. Now, while we're on this topic, a plot of virtual land that went for $4.3 million in the sandbox is the most expensive metaverse property sale ever. And yes, you heard that number right, and that's in dollars. 
So as an investor, you can get your hands on items in the Sandbox Marketplace on OpenSea, where they have a floor price of 3.185 Ether, or $13,117.20. Uh, but what can you actually do with your virtual plots? They are virtual, after all. Well, you can resell them at a profit, and that's why someone's willing to spend $400,000 near Snoop Dogg's villa in the Sandbox. And when you own land or an in-game asset on the Sandbox virtual world, you can actually make passive income by renting out your land to other players. That said, there are two types of tokens that you can find on the Sandbox for asset building, and these are catalysts and gems. On the one hand, gems are an ERC-20 utility token, which are burnt on usage that define your asset's attributes. Speaking of which, attributes actually define your asset's stats. The available gem attributes include the power gem, the defense gem, and the speed gem. Now on the other hand, catalysts are also ERC-20 utility tokens, which are burnt on usage, and they define your asset's tier and scarcity. Now there are four different tiers, each of which define both the number of sockets that your assets have, as well as their scarcity. And these are common, rare, epic, and legendary. Now you can earn by staking sand or by buying gems from other users. And keep in mind, sand is the medium of exchange in the Sandbox's ecosystem, and you need it to purchase in-game items from the Sandbox's marketplace. You'll be required to purchase land, assets, gems, and catalysts, as well as avatar customizations. Now, that all said, make sure that you head over to the Atomic Wallet website to download your secure crypto wallet, because you'll need it to hold the Sandbox token, sand. Now, as you'll later learn in the video, You'll need SAND to do most of the things in the Sandbox ecosystem. But why Atomic Wallet, you might ask? Well, Atomic Wallet makes the list of the top five decentralized cryptocurrency wallets on the market and has over three million users worldwide. And don't forget, Atomic provides staking for 13 assets, an exchange for 100 plus coins and tokens, and support for over 30 blockchain coins on the market. Click on the link in the description to learn more about Atomic Wallet, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So as you know from what we've so far covered in the video, the Sandbox is an open virtual gaming world based on the blockchain. But what you probably didn't know is that before the Sandbox became well, what we know today, it was a mobile game. Created back in 2011, it generated an incredible 400 million downloads on Android and iOS. Also, the Sandbox has plans to adopt the Polygon protocol for their VoxEdit NFT builder, Marketplace, and Game Maker. This all means that users will enjoy lower transaction fees and faster speeds than what the Ethereum blockchain currently offers. The Sandbox recently completed a successful Season 1 of the Sandbox Alpha, an open, multi-week, play-to-earn event that ran for multiple weeks. The much-awaited Season 2 promises an even greater experience and more things to explore. The Sandbox Alpha Season 1 allowed players to explore the Sandbox gaming metaverse through 18 unique experiences. And for that, you need an Alpha Pass, which you could actually compete for if you're a landowner or buy from other players who have it on OpenSea. Now, without the pass, you could only go up to three full experiences and, well, you couldn't claim earned rewards. The Alpha Pass is currently on sale on OpenSea until June 2022 and is going for about 0.36 Ether or about $1,421 as of the time of making this video. So what are your thoughts about Alpha? Are you going to try it? Let us know by dropping your answer in the comments below. The Sandbox uses its native token, SAND, which is an ERC-20 token that powers all the transactions and activities in the ecosystem. Now you need SAND tokens to participate in games, to buy assets, to customize your land and also your avatar and you also use it for many other activities. NFTs, essentially ERC721 tokens, represent your asset or your land ownership. Now, the total SAND token supply of 3 billion is planned to be released into circulation periodically over a couple of years. To be specific, 20% of tokens will be released each year up until 2025. After the complete release, the price will change as there will be a lot more tokens circulating in the market. Now currently, the Sandbox charges a transaction fee of 5% on the total SAND token transaction volume. From these profits, half goes to the Sandbox Foundation, a community that promotes and supports the growth of Sandbox ecosystem, and also its upcoming projects. Already, several games in the Sandbox have been supported by this foundation. Now, the other 50% is channeled towards staking rewards. The system has so far ensured a continuous utility for the token as the Sandbox grows, as the Sandbox starts migrating to the more efficient Polygon ecosystem, it's launched the first major development. But what is that? Well, it's a staking program for SAND token holders in Polygon liquidity pools. So if you put your MSAND, which is what the token will be called on Polygon, into a liquidity pool and stake it, you'll actually receive rewards. 
Since it's a relatively new product, the program promises incentives in the form of bonuses for early users. Now this announcement will see the SAN token circulation go up as the token split between the Ethereum and Matic chains. Also, the Sandbox market cap and SAN price are likely to also go up. Since the Sandbox runs on Ethereum, gas fees are applicable for transactions too. However, the Sandbox pays these fees for players, making your experience a lot easier. So, what developments can we expect from Sandbox in 2022? Well, now the Sandbox has quite an active history with frequent releases, upgrades and newsworthy developments. But what is in store for 2022? Well, here's what you can expect. Number one, an opening of the metaverse to landowners who have invested in building quality experiences. Number two, launching of the Sandbox DAO, which will give holders voting powers. Number three, development of the first ever virtual concert. Number four, the Sandbox mobile version will launch. And number five, possibly Vox Edit updates and the launch of a co-building mode on the Game Maker. Now, if you want to buy and hold SAN so that you can enjoy all that the Sandbox has to offer, make sure you download Atomic Wallet. Now, this secure crypto wallet supports more than 30 blockchains, and actually more than 300 coins and tokens too, including Bitcoin, Ether, and of course, SAND. Currently, the wallet has 3 million plus users worldwide, and you can join them simply by going to the Atomic Wallet website and hitting the download button. And as people scramble for all of these fixed plots, it's only a matter of time before they run out and the price, well, multiplies. So join the virtual land race by getting a plot of your own. Does the sandbox sound exciting to you? Do you think the metaverse is actually here to stay? Well, if you've got any thoughts or insights on today's topic, let us know in the comments below and we'll keep the conversation going. That brings me to the end of today's video. So thanks for watching.